Dawn settles over the African savanna in a pale, gentle light. Silver grasses sway softly as red dust hangs in the cool morning air. Near a cracked water hole, a porcupine searches for roots. Its black and white quills rise and fall, shimmering like cold metal. Zebras graze calmly beneath the scattered shadows of the trees. With every breath, its armor trembles ready alert, alive. Silent acacia trees stand like ancient guardians watching the plains. A faint rustle interrupts the stillness. Its stone-like scales ripple as its forked tongue tastes the morning air. A martial eagle circles high, its sharp eyes tracking every movement below. The porcupine turns, raising its quills into a wall of spikes. From a distant ridge, a Komodo dragon descends with heavy, deliberate steps. The dragon halts, eyes fixed, calculating the smallest weakness. The savanna holds its breath. The Komodo lunges first, jaws open toward the porcupine's flank. The dragon bites down and recoils a quill embedded in its gum. The porcupine spins into a perfect sphere of needles. The predator begins to circle, searching for an exposed angle. The porcupine retreats to a rock and seals its vulnerable side. Instead, the porcupine attacks first. The dragon shifts tactics and leaps to crush its opponent. drives a cluster of quills into the Komodo's chest. At the last moment, the porcupine slips aside and strikes the soft belly. The spinning wheel of quill slams into its front leg. Slowly, it turns away and disappears into the grass. Only then does the porcupine lower its quills. The savanna exhales, returning to its quiet rhythm. Here, survival belongs not to the strongest, but to the one who understands its own strength.
At dawn, the savannah awakens under the first breath of light. Every heartbeat on the savannah listens for danger. Even the smallest creatures bring a moment of comfort to the striped wanderer of the plains. Their every breath shapes the rhythm of the waking plains. High above, the Watcher of Death searches for the first sign of the fallen. In a single, decisive strike survival, it becomes a matter of seconds. The dawn begins with a symphony only the wild can compose. New shelter is carved from the earth, one clawful at a time. Fearless and relentless, it digs, as if nothing in the wild could ever stop it. Every scent, every breath, guides the relentless hunter to life hidden beneath the earth. At the forest's edge, the silent hunter seeks the river's last breath of water. Where it walks, the earth remembers. Grace descends slowly, even for the tallest watcher of the plains. On the wind, a warning. The presence of another predator. With a sway in its stride, the fearless wanderer arrives. The hunter sees what the fearless digger does not. Step by silent step, the shadow draws nearer. Two hunters, one moment of reckoning. with fearlessness neither willing to yield. In a storm of dust and fury, the wild reveals its most primal truth. Two wills collide raw, unrestrained and born of the unforgiving wild. Strike meets counter-strike instinct and reflex clashing in the raw heart of the morning wild. Locked in a brutal embrace, neither predator will yield to the rising sun. Wounded but desperate, the hunter flees. Even the swift predator feels the sting of resistance. The hunter withdraws and the relentless survivor returns to the rhythm of the earth. With danger gone, the relentless forager returns to the work only it can endure. As the day surrenders, the savannah is painted in fire and quiet. And with nightfall comes the laughter of the scavenger wild, cruel and unmistakable. As the giants cross the fading plains another day and the wild gently closes its eyes.
Dawn breaks over the African savanna in a slow, deliberate glow. A thin blade of sunlight slices through the lingering haze touching the dew that clings to each strand of grass. Across the soft ground, a herd of impalas glides effortlessly. This is the moment when the savanna exhales, renewing itself after the long shadowed hours of the night. In the cool quiet of early morning, the sense of wet soil, crushed vegetation, and the faint warmth of light rising again drift gently across the open plain. They move in a near silent rhythm, guided by instinct, each step tuned to the shifting pulse of the landscape. For them, attention is survival. A whisper in the grass, the flick of a shadow, or a distant bird's alarm call may signal danger, real, immediate, and lethal. Not far beyond the deep rumbling bellows of African buffalo thicken the morning air. Their presence is heavy powerful, a reminder that the savanna is shaped not only by hunters and hunted, but also by the unstoppable weight of herd and hierarchy. Every creature here plays a role in the wider balance, whether it knows it or not. Slowly, he opens his eyes. While the rest of his pride sleeps scattered nearby, he rises to patrol the territory that sustains them all. A territory unguarded is a territory lost. And in this vast open realm, borders fade unless they are reinforced again and again. fully grown African crested porcupine pushes gently through the branches, its rounded body covered in a remarkable suit of black and white quills. Under the thorny canopy of an acacia bush, a far smaller figure stirs. Each quill, long and gleaming in the morning light, is part of an evolutionary armor perfected over countless generations. He moves through the tall grass with a quiet certainty. Each cluster of vegetation carries information where an antelope passed in the night, where a predator wandered recently, where the wind shifts set. For a moment, the plane grows still. The world holds its breath as predator and defender lock eyes. Then instinct erupts. The lion charges mane, streaming behind him, paws pounding against the brittle earth. The porcupine spins, presenting the only weapon it has ever needed, a shield of quills, razor sharp and unyielding. The lion's initial strike meets the wall of spines. He recoils, surprised by the sting dust rising around him. He circles left, searching for an opening. The porcupine responds by pivoting in sync, keeping its armored back toward and its body a compact sphere of defenses. Every clash between them is a test of strength against resilience and density against precision. The lion lunges again only to be met with the swift whip of the porcupine's tail, each quill shivering by the last shards of the fierce sunlight. The two collide once more in a cloud of heated dust. Savannah birds erupt into the sky, alarmed by the struggle. Finally, in a burst of force and imbalance, both animals fall onto the dry earth, a tangle of motion and instinct. The lion rises first, chest heaving mane thick with dust and quills. He assesses the situation with sharp, measured breaths. One deep wound, even a small one, could cost him days of weakness. And here in this land of constant vigilance, weakness is an invitation few predators can afford to give. He steps back. The porcupine quills still raised watches in unmoving silence. When the lion begins to retreat toward the shade of his acacia tree, the porcupine holds its ground armor still bristling. Only after the lion's silhouette fades into the golden grass does it lower its quills, the tension melting into stillness. On this vast plain, not every encounter ends in victory or defeat. 
Some end in recognition, a silent understanding of what each creature must do to survive. 